Good morning, everyone. This is Sandy, and welcome to Better and Better this morning. So I am so excited about what I'm going to be sharing with you today. I'm going to share with you my favorite eight statements that I say on a daily basis to help me stay in calm confidence. Sound interesting? So here it goes. You may want to listen to this one twice. So do remember, when, if you like this video, please press like. Please share it with your friends. And also, if you would, please, if you haven't registered on YouTube and subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and then click the little bell so that you uh, can ring it and get notifications when I have a new video. But here goes, okay? So we're going to talk about eight things that I say to myself, my favorite eight statements to move myself from a place of, I don't know, maybe just insecurity or from a place of anger or from a place of rush and overwhelm to get myself to a place of calm confidence. The first statement I say is this, I have plenty of time to do everything God has called me to do. I have plenty of time to do everything God has called me to do. Now, sometimes I may not have plenty of time. I may not feel like I have plenty of time, but nonetheless, by faith, I make that statement. I have plenty of time to do everything God has called me to do. What that does is that takes me from a place of rush and overwhelm and anxiety to a place of grace and ease and getting better in that because even if I know that today I might be a little bit crazy, I just tell myself, Sandy, you, I got plenty of time to do everything God's called me to do because when I say that, I know that I am going to be fixing things and making things better. I am going to be saying no to some things and saying yes to some other things. I am going to be making better decisions around my time and who I say yes to and who I say no to. Because really and truly, if God wants me to do something, I got plenty of time to do that. I'm just doing other stuff maybe that I should have said no to. Are you like me sometimes and we say yes to the good? when we really should have said no to the good and yes to the best. So, there you go, right? So, number one, I have plenty of time to do everything God's called me to do. My second thing that I say is I have something important to do today. I have something important to do today. I am doing important things today. So today is not a day of waste. Today is not a day that everything goes wrong. But today, I am doing something important today. Something I'm doing today is important to God's work, to my own life, to my future, to my family, to the things that are my purpose and reason for living. So today, I have something important to do. What is it? Go find it and go do it. The third thing I say is that I am personally responsible. I am personally responsible for everything that happens to me today. I am personally responsible for everything that happens to me today. What that means is I cannot keep a bird from flying over my head, but I will not allow the bird to build a nest in my hair. Okay? So I cannot uh, keep the rain from raining, but I can make a decision about how I respond to the rain. So I am personally responsible for everything that happens to me today. And if I told you, yes, I would do something, and I should have told you no, that I'm personally responsible for the fact that I told you no. I'm not going to be mad at you for you asking me. Because you can ask me anything you want to ask me, right? But I do not have to say yes just because you asked me. My answer is what I'm personally responsible for. Not your question. Anybody can ask me anything they want, but my answer is what I am personally responsible for. Now, let me say this. So this is my next one. My fourth statement. First statement, I have plenty of time to do everything God's called me to do. Second statement, I have something important to do today. I am doing important stuff today. Third statement, I'm personally responsible for everything that happens to me today. Fourth statement, I am not responsible for Aunt Lulu and all the other stuff that everybody else has happening to them. So, I am not responsible for everybody else. That's my fourth statement. I am not responsible for everybody else. Everybody else is responsible for themselves. Have you ever had a time when you thought, man, if one more person asked me one more thing to do, that should not bother you. They can ask away. 
but you have the right and the responsibility to make good decisions because you are not personally responsible for what everybody else is doing. Do they try to make you think you're responsible and that you have to rescue them? Yes, they do. They say, I need you to do this. No, you might need me to do that, but that does not mean that I have to say yes, that I'm going to do it. Girl, you can just get a big load off your shoulders today if you understand that I am not responsible for everybody else. You know, sometimes the way God works in life is that we learn our lessons by the consequences we have to go through. And when we go and try to become personally responsible for everybody else, it screws our life up. You know why? Because we just kept God from teaching them a lesson. We just kept God from teaching them a lesson because we came in and we jumped in and we rescued. I need to have good boundaries and I am not responsible for everybody else. They make their own decisions. They are personally responsible to fix their consequences. It is not my job to fix other people's consequences. That sounds harsh, doesn't it? Well, it doesn't sound harsh to me and I tell you why. Because I love you enough to allow God to have full reign in your life for you to learn the lessons you need to learn because I'm a hard head. <laughs> Anybody else a hard head in the group? I'm a hard head and sometimes I don't learn lessons easily until I've fallen down enough times to say, you know what, I just do not want to do this anymore. I'm going to do something differently. And sometimes that's the best way for us to help people learn is for us to leave them alone and let them learn it doesn't mean we don't love them it doesn't mean we don't pray for them but we are not personally responsible for them and the only way they're going to grow up is for them to take personal responsibility for their own actions today this week not today this week i actually told somebody uh that sounds like you're asking me to be personally responsible for how you feel you have to decide how you want to feel. You have to decide what your actions are. And so one of the statements I say is I'm not personally responsible for everybody else. So here it goes. I've got plenty of time to do everything that God has asked me to do. I am doing something important every single day. I am personally responsible for everything that happens in my life today. And I am not responsible for anybody else. Next sentence is I make great decisions every day. I am making great decisions every day. Now, you have to realize these are faith statements. These are not statements that I make perfect decisions all day long. I do not. But I'm telling myself I'm making great decisions today. I am making great decisions today. And what you tell yourself, your brain believes is the truth. Did you realize that? What you say to yourself, your brain, your brain says, oh, that's who she is. Oh, that's what she wants. Oh, that's, uh, let's help her get more of that brain. And you, you, God designed your brain to go to work for you. And so you want to be able to have your brain going to work for you in a positive way. And if you tell yourself, oh, I make stupid decisions every day. Why do I keep making these stupid decisions? Your brain says, oh, she makes stupid decisions. Let's help her make some more of them. So I do not tell myself that. I tell myself every day, I'm making great decisions today. I am making great decisions every day. So my brain is on the, on the look, on the pursuit for good decisions every day. Now, another thing I tell myself every day is I am capturing negative thoughts and I am talking back in faith. All day long, I am paying attention. Now, I do not do this perfectly, but I say this by faith. I am capturing negative thoughts and I am talking back by faith. Because when you are paying attention to negative thoughts, you see them. It's like your cousin coming into town and he's driving a yellow heavy Chevy with black racing stripes. You're watching for him to come into town. Every car you see, somehow or another, you see heavy Chevys that are yellow with black racing stripes. It's amazing. They've never been there before. Oh, yeah, they have. You've just never seen them because you've never been looking for them. And that's what happens. Whatever you're focusing on and paying attention to, you will see it, and you can address it, and you can take care of it. So one of the things I say, I'm capturing every negative thought, and I am talking back in faith. So all day long, you're paying attention to what you're thinking. So it's just one of the things I do to try to make sure I keep myself in a positive place. Another thing to say to yourself every day, God loves me. God tells me he loves me. 
he accepts me just as I am and that I am good enough right here and right now to do everything God wants me to do. God says he loves me. He accepts me just as I am. And I am good enough right here and right now to do everything God has called me to do. I am good enough right here and right now to do everything God's called me to do. I am good enough right here and right now to do everything God's called me to do. Powerful, powerful, life-changing statement. Okay, so one last one. I'm getting better and better every day. I'm getting better and better every day. Sometimes I say, oh, Sandy, what'd you do that? Oh, but I'm getting better and better every day. I'm getting better and better every day. It is not about being perfect. I do not put myself under perfectionism. And I really hope you do not either because it is not possible to be perfect, to have a perfectionistic mentality and be happy. Because guess what? It is impossible to be perfect. So if you give yourself a standard of perfection, you set yourself up for disappointment all day long. But when we don't do exactly right, we can always say, but I'm getting better and better every day. You just shift right to better and better. So I'm going to go over them real fast. I hope you got them. I think they will rock your world. They have rocked mine. I've got, number one, plenty of time to do everything God's called me to do. I have something important to do every day. I am personally responsible for everything that happens to me today. I am not responsible for anybody else. I am making great decisions every day. I am capturing every negative thought, and I am replacing it with talking back in faith. And God says he loves me, he accepts me just as I am, and I am good enough right here and right now to do everything God's called me to do. And I'm getting better and better every day. How about you? I know that you are. I know that these can go into your life and change your life. So make sure you like above. If you would share this video with your friends or groups you're in, it would be awesome. I would pray it would be a blessing to them. And please go to my YouTube channel above register if you've never registered and then subscribe to my channel and ring the little bell so you get all my notifications hope you have a great week let me know how these thoughts are changing and moving in your life i'd love to see your comments below much luck to you have a great day